Cambridge Biomedical Campus um, has been one of the pioneers of RFID. I believe we're the biggest users in the UK. We were one of the first to really embrace active technology with Harlan Simon's help and support. Um, and we were one of the pioneers bracing the passive system. To the point now we have between active and passive just over 25,000 units um, tagged floating around the trust or moving on a constant basis and by the end of this year we will be close to 40,000. If it moves or if it lives on site it will have either an active or a passive tag in one form or another. 40 to 50 percent of our equipment is always on the move at any one time. Uh, last financial year in Addenbrooke's we delivered and tracked 185,000 units around the trust. That's of a install base of 3,000. So we can be proactive, and that's been some of the many other benefits that we've, we've discovered through being able to track where equipment goes. Now we can look at the use of equipment, type of equipment, where it's been used, and ensure it's in the right place at the right time, um, and it allows us to predict quite accurately what our future needs are going to be, uh, and allow us to manage 200 million pounds worth of equipment across the whole of the trust. So it allowed us to change a culture by first of all delivering the service that was fit for purpose, but then also being able to track the equipment to uh, encourage the non-hoarding. If you look at it from a, a money saving point of view, you're looking uh, over the last six years about six million pounds worth of capital costs saved.